to Brickyard Hill. I'm gonna keep it positive, that's the goal, keeping it positive. I just filmed this whole sequence. If you can see behind me, this hill was incredibly challenging to get up for the van. Had my camera all set up, it's rolling. Took me like three times to try and get up in here. Short, steep, and a lot of snow, a lot more snow than I was expecting. I'm thinking, man, this is just gonna be killer footage. I mean, <laughs> the van's working hard. It literally took three big attempts to get up here. Memory card's going bad. <laughs> it didn't record a thing. Ah! Oh, the joys of filming for YouTube, right? Well, we're at Brickyard Hill, welcome. We're gonna go try and see if we can get set up. There's a lot of snow up here and the roads are pretty uh, pretty challenging, so we'll give it, our, uh, give it our best shot. We made it up here and I do think so the campsite, I'm gonna walk up and I wanna check this little spot out right here. But where I've been looking on Google Maps and all that, where I wanna camp is that picnic table right over there. And I'll uh, zoom you guys in. I don't know if you can tell how uh, sketch the road is up here. It's uh, that really fine mixture of slush, ice, and snow on top of gravel. They definitely have a lot more snow down here than I was anticipating. But we're gonna try and get over to that site. We'll see if we can make this work. I'm not usually one to quote unquote bail on a campsite. I just walked across, the van is back over there. That road is, we're in that time of year. The top two inches is grease. And then right underneath it is hard, solid, frozen ground. And just walking across there, I'm sinking about two inches in with my shoes. And I just can't see where I would have a enjoyable time. Shoes on and off, in and out of the van perfect spot here look at this we got this lake that's what i want wake up in the morning have the lake looking at the lake i just wasn't expecting this much snow up here uh, actually down here i tried to go south of omaha to access a spot that wouldn't be uh, snowy <laughs> i ran into more decisions decisions i think i'm gonna walk up this road real quick i it's gonna be tough getting across that thing uh don't like any of my options right now that's how much i'm sinking here stuff it's not good i don't know that i want to take a vehicle across this these are the campsites here you can see just a field of snow where that uh, picnic table is right down there that's uh, a campsite there's another one right here and the snow is actually really deep and soft and slushy worst case scenario we got to uh we're gonna have to bail well, this definitely would have been a good spot, and we will keep it on our list. We'll be back. Today, it is not conducive. <laughs> oh, this has been an adventure so far. I've tried to come up to this other campsite. I'm just getting into more trouble. These roads are absolutely horrible. The ground thaw is coming up. A two wheel drive ProMaster van. I can't even get up and down these roads. Uh, so I just pulled the map out and we're gonna try and make it over to Brownville. And I've tried to camp there one other time before. I didn't show it on the channel, but that's where uh, that's where I think I'm going to try and make it to. My my big problem right now is getting turned around. Uh, we're in a in a sticky situation here. I'm going to try and get turned around here. Get back on it when I'm on uh, some solid ground. I will check back in. All uh, part of the joys of trying to find a off grid campsite. I don't know if you folks can see it, but these roads are soft really really soft and not in a good way in here i'm literally driving through water and i'm going to try and slip and slide my way back down this hill so i'm going to shut the camera off Well, 
life's an adventure, right? <laughs> We're keeping this positive. I just stopped at the uh, River Inn Resort here in Brownville, and they do offer camping. It is 25 bucks a night, plus tax, no electric. Like, why would I pay to be off-grid? <laughs> uh, we gotta go find another spot. This is this must be our theme today, trying to find a place to uh, just put our head down for the night and have a good fire. He said I could pull off over here into a pad or something. It's a complete mud bog and pay 25 bucks for no electric to not that doesn't even make sense so i think we might just head down to indian cave or do i head back up to wabansi i'm gonna get in the van and kind of make a couple of decisions here We have made it home <laughs> hopefully fingers crossed what's really cool about our spot is we are at the langdon mitigation area i have a beautiful nuclear power plant just over my shoulder fingers crossed nothing goes wrong tonight <laughs> oh this is awesome you never know where life's gonna take you right we do have a pretty stiff breeze. I might have to reposition the van here just a little bit to get tucked in. We are gonna sleep in the shadow of a nuclear reactor. Can it get any cooler than that? I don't know if I'm even legal to camp here tonight. I'm gonna uh, give it a shot. We're way out in the boonies and uh, we'll see how this goes. If you look at my running board, <laughs> oh, this is the kind of day it's been. Look at that thing. Holy cow. That's like two inches of mud just on the running board. Ah, what a disaster. We have made it. I am calling Langdon Mitigation Area home tonight, unless we get kicked out. <laughs> I don't even know if I can stay here or not. It's not on any uh, apps that I have, iOverland or anything like that. I do have the Cooper Nuclear Station just over my shoulder. We're just gonna set up camp. I don't care. It's free, it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna make the most of it. It's been uh, tough trying to find camping today. Very, very challenging. An empty cornfield parking lot? Right now I'll take it. We'll make it a good camp. Looking forward to it. This is definitely one little area that I would like to give some attention to. There's just too much stuff uh, attached. It's one bungee cord back here. I've got three chairs, a shovel, a pellet gun, table, bags. <laughs> just too much. If anybody has any ideas, I don't know. I could make, probably that's what I need to do is make something that attaches here that I could attach maybe the chairs to or something. I don't know, if anybody has any ideas, please let me know.
one of the things that's really nice out here is we have incredible cell service, which I always appreciate. Let's get this turned around here real quick. Adjust it a little bit. Yep, yep. We made it. I did bring my iPad. Um, I found a new guy. Let me let me get this right. Let me. Uh, I don't want to screw this up. So pause that right there. I, I found a new guy I've been following quite a bit. Kenny of all trades. You can tell he's a super decent individual up in mid Minnesota area that he does all his camping. Good guy. Give him a follow. Give him a shout out. Talk about the hat in a little bit here. But for right now, we're just going to hang out for a minute. It's a little too early for dinner yet. It's been kind of a stressful day. I do have several chunks of firewood that I picked up on the way out here that I got to get unloaded. But for now, we're just kind of in a hangout mode. I'm going to uh, sit and stare at the nuclear plant and make sure it doesn't explode on me or something. The cool thing is, if something happens down here, like, I would just be gone. <laughs> there wouldn't, it wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have to, like, wonder, hey, I wonder if I'm going to make it or not. Nope, you'd just be gone. We're in a good spot here. Ruth, with the uh, Army Corps of Engineers, gave me permission to camp down here. Cross our fingers, we'll see how this goes. It's a pretty quiet weekday evening. I'm not expecting anything. As long as I don't have too big of a fire or something, I probably should be okay. That's what we're gonna roll with. We are in camp. Feels good. Good to be off the road. stove out and I think we're just gonna make a uh, quick cup of coffee this afternoon it sounds really good I am planning on running uh, the wave 3 heater tonight Let's see how that goes off grid here and God you know like right now I don't need any heat at all it's absolutely perfect all right I'm gonna uh, check back in after I get the coffee going here tonight as you can see over my shoulder is the uh, nuclear power plant but it is it's a beautiful evening I would take this any day of the week out here by myself alone in a and basically in a gravel parking lot over cramped you know a thousand people at branched oak this is uh, this is camping to me uh, alone at the end of a dead-end gravel road it's a good place to be we do have uh, dinner we're getting ready to get going tonight and then also also, I did want to talk about the hat real quick. Let's get this right. Prism of Possibilities. He's a good friend of mine, runs a great company, and it's uh, definitely for a good cause. I don't want to make this like the focal point of the channel or anything, but if you do know of a charity that you would like for me to showcase on each episode, I'd be happy to wear a hat or a t-shirt or something. And then I'll just put a link to the website in and there won't, there won't be anything more really to it than that. If you want to explore that and maybe donate or something like that, do a hashtag Bandcamp402 or something. Let them know where the money's coming from.
right, let's turn the lights up here. Oh, actually, you know what we need to do? Let's shut this real quick. We don't want to draw any more attention to ourselves if we don't have to. All right, let's turn these lights up real quick. I think this way. Oh yeah, much better. Percolator coffee, I'm telling you. That's where it's at, right there. So, dinner tonight. Do you guys remember this at all? It was an old video. It's probably been almost a year old now. I want to say Omaha to Arizona was the title. But I made these Smuckers, like uh, French toast. And man, did they turn out really well. They were so good. Um, I just wanted to make it again. Breakfast for dinner type thing. But we're going to uh, cook these Uncrustables just like you would French toast. Make an egg batter and throw them in there. First, of course, in honor of Lance, subscriber shout out, we have to do some pork sausage, right? So I'm gonna get this coffee finished up and then we'll be ready to rock and roll on dinner. Man, what a great sunset. Made it completely worth being out here, completely. Oh, that coffee is so good. Well, we're getting our dinner stuff ready. First thing we're gonna do, and like I said, in honor of Lance, we're gonna cook up uh, half of this package of sausage. Because you can't just have like three sausage, can you? Oh, perfect. Wrap these up and put these in the cooler. I can't decide. I'm gonna play it by ear here a little bit. It is stunningly beautiful outside right now. Great stars. I'm gonna do some astrophotography here in a little bit after we get dinner going. I can't decide. You know, I almost, <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't do a fire every time I'm out there. I'm in a good spot. I've got all the windows kind of blocked off, so I'm not worried about any light pollution. I'm worried about if I start that fire, if that's what doesn't get me busted for sleeping out here. And if I don't have a fire, I would feel a lot more comfortable. But the only thing is, and this is the uh, dilemma, my main goal was to have a fire tonight. So do I take the free awesome campsite i don't know well we're gonna we're gonna play it by ear well we're gonna see i'm gonna get a feel for it check the vibe as my kids would say i would really like to have a fire but right now we got these sausages going excited about that cooking up really well we're getting close here our uncrustables <laughs> our french toast uncrustables yeah these are uh these are cooking up really, really nice. It's so quiet out here. I couldn't appreciate that more right now. So quiet. Nice to be able to step outside, but I'm gonna get this mixed up. I am, uh, I'm allergic to milk. I use almond milk and this is uh, two eggs and some almond milk for our batter, for the uh, Uncrustables tonight. We'll see how this goes. As these sausages are done, I'll pull them off and then we'll start uh, dipping our Uncrustables. Wonderful evening, ready to go. Now for the main attraction. <laughs> we got one Smuckers ready. These have been thawing out today. We can figure out how to open this up. There we go. Oh yeah, they're very thawed. Probably too much actually. We are ready. Let's dip that in, flip it over, and get it in. Perfect. Attempt to flip here. See what we have going on. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Cast iron can be tough to cook with. I do have some uh, margarine that I brought. Because you can't have French toast without some margarine, right? That melt on there. Folks, I am serious. If you have like guests over or something and you make some sausage and smuckers, Uncrustables, French toast for breakfast in the morning, you will be their hero. Let's throw a little uh, syrup on there. You don't need much syrup because there is that peanut butter and jelly in there. Look at that. All right, let's give this a shot. Starting to get a little chilly in here. I had to crack one of the windows. What is the temperature right now? Ooh, look out. Yeah, it's dropping. Um, it was 67 when I started cooking and it's dropped down to 60 already. We do have the Wave 3. We're gonna get that fired up here in a little bit. So look at what you're dealing with here. <laughs> oh man, delicious. 
I'll see you after dinner. Dinner is wrapped up. What I do want to do right now is take you folks along. I'm gonna go outside and do some photography. When you step out of the van, you can literally with the naked eye see the Milky Way shooting across. did have uh, just now it's 7 30 in the morning a uh, hunter just pulled in with his dog and i was wondering about that if uh, that wouldn't be a, a visitor in the morning he was real quiet when he pulled in and respectful so appreciate that you could hear his dog uh, walking around the van a little bit i'm sure there was some food crumbs or something the egg batter i'd thrown out i did use the uh, wave heater and as you can see it's uh, running really well here it kept it incredibly comfortable in here it was absolutely perfect i'm not getting any propane smell um, the tank is right here as you can see and i have this window cracked open and then this window cracked open in the back not getting any propane smell or anything and really good steady nice heat i'll show you folks this hunter here we're a little uh steamed up in here tonight but you can see he's right there I'm not sure where he went off to hunt, but the power plant right behind it. Well, it's just uh, beautiful out this morning. It's crazy how you can be next to a nuclear plant and be in a beautiful, beautiful spot. Uh, I always appreciate this. But this area here is a huge flyway for snow geese, uh, Canadians, a lot of eagles and stuff too, because they follow all the, all the birds. But we got a good spot here. The hum of the nuclear plant behind us. We don't have, uh, as you can see, we don't have too much stuff to pick up here this morning. Gotta get our teeth brushed yet. My wife got me this little uh, battery powered toothbrush. I've had it, oh, good over a year. It's a Oral-B, I highly recommend for camping. It's great having a mechanical toothbrush out in the field. I did just hear a uh, shotgun blast over that way. So just saw a little cubby of ducks fly over, so I'm guessing he got one. We are uh, percolating this morning. Loaded in here, we'll be good to go. Left. Uh, totally fine. Yeah, once a week. I have a YouTube channel, so cool. do a little van camping. I tried to stay at Brickyard Hill. Yeah, over by Rockport. Yeah, that's where I tried, and that's how I got 
uh, I didn't realize you guys had this much snow down here. Yeah. So I was. Fit. I thought I'd get me out of it more, you know, but no, it put me in it more. It was yeah. kind of weird. Yeah, we had a lot of snow here for a while. Yeah. Well, and the ground thaw was coming out on the gravel roads. So ground was soft. It is. <laughs> Yeah, seemed like a really nice guy heading on out there. And just like that, back to having the whole place for ourselves. Hopefully you could hear him there. I'll have to double check when we edit, but uh, he was pheasant hunting and he said he missed that one shot that he took, which is a bummer. But I figured there'd be somebody pulling in here. I thought it'd be more waterfowl working some birds, waiting for that uh, coffee to start percolating and we can, uh, we'll be able to get out of here pretty quick. Man, just beautiful down here this morning. Love it. So quiet. Well, I picked up some uh, firewood yesterday and we didn't use it. Actually, I think that was probably a good plan. Just didn't want to draw any attention to myself. Well, it's down here. And the firewood will be good for the next one, won't it? <laughs> Well, that hunter was super nice. It's good to, good to talk with folks. And for anyone that's apprehensive at all about camping, that's who you're going to run into out here. It isn't the guy that's going to stab you in your sleep. It's a guy getting a quick hunt in before he's going to work. These, uh, these places are usually really very, very safe and quiet and accessible and free. Well, this wasn't the most glamorous of camping spots. I'd take this all day, any day over, you know, a packed Mahoney State Park or a branched lake, branched Oak Lake State Park. Definitely, I'm gonna put this on my list. Uh, in the fall, when the corn is tall, you'd be hard to, to see the van back in here. We'll have to uh, keep this on our list for fall. Yeah, it's been a good, uh, gr not even a good morning. It's been a great morning. That is about it. We're a little discombobulated, but we're heading home. To get everything squared away at base camp, you know? Ah, oh, it's just beautiful. All the geese flying around this morning. Super cool. Like to stay another day. Sit and watch birds. Get this uh, hot. Man, it smells so good. Look at that. Perfect. The perfect pour. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Nothing better than coffee in camp. Nothing. I'd put it up there with, uh, what do you think? A, a cold beer around the fire or a warm coffee in the morning? Which one's better? <laughs> I can make it through the day without a cold beer by the fire. I don't, I don't think I could make it through the day without a nice cup of coffee. That might be the uh, deciding factor. Just did a quick 360. Everything's picked up, good to go. Grab our keys. I'm gonna need to get this uh, condensation off here. Should have started the van a little while ago. That's all right. Man, very, very successful camp. Loved it. Perfect.
coming along. Great camp, great camp. Um, we slept a mile from a nuclear reactor. <laughs> Can't say, uh, not everyone can say that, right? Um, everybody, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me here. We're gonna work our way home this morning and uh, get a video edited and up for you folks. As always, keep it positive and uh, keep it moving forward, right? We'll see you on the next adventure.